Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the May 2014 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 24, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, why does the bottom figure contain an extra empty white square and the top figure does not? So now, just looking at the diagram at first glance, you can see that they look like the same shape. They look like triangles, but what is striking is that in the bottom figure, there is an empty white square, and in this figure, there is not. So this is a mystery of why there is a white square. So now let's look at the possible options and see which one of these explain this mystery. Okay. So now, let's look at option A. One of the shapes in the top figure is larger by one square than the corresponding shape of same color in the bottom figure. Okay, so let's look at, for example, the red triangle. Here the height is 1, 2, 3, and the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the red triangle is the same. For the green shape, here's 5 and here's 3. Here's 5 and here's 3. Then for the orange shape, here's 2 and here's 5. Here's 2 and there's 5, so that's also the same. And for the blue triangle up here, it's 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so all, this, all these shapes are the same size, so therefore option A is not a possible solution. Now, option B. <clears throat> the grid in the top figure is slightly larger than the grid in the bottom figure. Therefore, the large triangle in the top figure consists of fewer slightly larger squares, than the large triangle in the bottom figure, which consists of smaller squares, but has one extra square instead. <clears throat> well, here, let's check the height of the bottom figure. So here, the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares, and here the base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 squares. And here the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares, and here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 squares. So we can see that they would have the same area, because it's base times height divided by 2, and 5 times 13 divided by 2 for both, that would be the same. And plus, even if the grid was different, then it wouldn't matter, because we are measuring by squares, so the number of squares and not the centimeters or inches. Okay. So therefore, option B is not a possible solution. Now, option C. The large triangle of the top figure has a smaller area than the large triangle of the bottom figure. Therefore, the bottom figure has the extra white space, white square. Well, this is false. Again, we know that they have the same height the same base and therefore they would have the same area so option C is not a possible solution <clears throat> now let's look at option D the explanation for the missing square is an optical illusion that makes lines appear straight when they are not straight well this sounds kind of weird so let's check options E, F, and G for a more plausible solution so now let's look at option E the large triangle in the top figure is higher than the large triangle in the bottom figure. This is false because we know that they both have the same height, which is five squares for both figures. So now we know, therefore, option E is not possible. Now option F, when two similar figures are displayed one above the other, then the top one appears larger to the human eye. So although having a smaller area by one square, the large triangles of the top and bottom figures appear of same size. Well, this is nonsense because we know that the height for both is 5 squares and the base for both is 13 squares. So again, we know that it cannot be option F. So option G, none of the other explanations is correct. Well, the only two possibilities are option D or op option G. So now let's check option D. The explanation for the missing square is an optical illusion that makes lines appear straight when they are not straight. So now the only possible now the only possible solution here is that if this were not to be straight, because we know that this line is straight, and we know that this line is straight, and we know that this line is straight. 
So now let's check the slope of this line. So the height, it goes up 1, 2, 3, and it goes over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 3 over 8. And now for this part right here, this line right here, it goes up 1, 2, and goes over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So an easy way to find out if they are the same is just use cross multiplication. 2 times 8 is 16. 5 times 3 is 15. We know that 16 is greater than 15. Therefore, 2 over 5 is greater than 3 over 8. And therefore, that means that this line is steeper than this line because the slope here is greater than this slope. So now we know that that is the same for here, but it is the opposite because here the red triangle is on top, whereas here the blue triangle is on top, and here the red triangle is on the bottom, here blue triangle is on bottom. So here we know that since this was, this here, this line had a greater slope than this, we know that for this figure it would look more like this, when you magnify it, it would look more like this. So we can see there's still something here in between. And for figure two, since it goes like this and it gets steeper down here, it would look more like this. When you magnify it, so we can see that it is a little greater. So then when you take this and you take this and that difference, and you add it up, we know that that must equal to one whole white square. So therefore, we know that the solution is option D, that it is an optical illusion, and that this line and this line are not actually straight. So if you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca slash caribou.